Hello and welcome to Allotment Gardening 2012. I thought I'd show you my uh, main allotment today, just a brief peruse and then some smaller videos with more detail. I'd hoped to film on a, an iPhone 4 but unfortunately there's uh, not enough memory space so we're back to the old camera with a tripod. Hopefully there's a lack of shaking. Went rather overboard on flowers this year but I quite enjoy them. I've done most of them from seed bar about 50% of the uh, bedding plants, um, mainly because I ran out of space. This is the kind of a nub of the allotment. We've got our front top, front third, our back third, which we cannot really see, and then the adjacent half here. So, if we have a, this is a brief tour, so I'm not going to go into any specifics. As I said, I've, I've planted up a large amount of pots this year. Uh, flowers and I find it quite enjoyable using them as cut flowers at home and so on. These are my vines, uh, don't ask me what their names are, I've long since forgot. But this year I've filled in a squash box and given its protection has rewarded me already with some uh, Japanese pumpkins. In there with some hanging tiny tom tumblers. I won't go into details as mentioned, but basically I swapped these for garden pearl, which were in buckets, as the garden pearl was a little too vigorous. The squashes are trained over the frames and over the arch to the path outside of my neighbour's plot there. In here, it's not exactly a squash, there's a couple of courgettes, which you might be able to see. Along the edges I've completed small beds for flowers and uh, this is the dividing line of the main plot. Summer raspberries coming into full bloom there, a new baby fruit tree that shall remain a secret for now and looking down, first flowers in the way, with Musa Bajou there which comes back if I fleece. We can go behind the squash box here. There's another set of potted flowers and lilies yet to come on. There's the back of the courgettes and Tiny Tim, which I think may have some fruit on there. Down here on the bottom is a row of the garden pearl, which you can see are beginning to fruit. And Further lined with garden pearl here. First peas coming to an end. Various chard and beet there with Mizuna coming to an end. I said I'll do details more specifically. Water collection system, same as last year but tidied up a little. So now into the front third. Unremarkable potatoes. Thought I'd let some uh, sweet pea climb up the apples. As noted, the top fruit's fine with regards to apples, but my pears are limited. Um, that's this conference, I think. And the plum, that's Victoria very limited set. Go forward again. Another set of peas here and the various lettuces here, some of which are more than ready, uh, many of which have come out. And broad beans which are starting to go die off. Along there another tomato with a bed of salad in the box. my fig which winters outside. The garlic's been replaced by bok choy now. I quite like this bed, it had been pretty with some companion planting regarding the marigolds and I think that nice lettuce is Meravillia something. I can never quite remember. Uh, again, gaps from where the lettuce has been ready. I've just re sown that or replanted from the cold frame interlinked, interspersed with first year strawberries and uh, leeks. The leeks will have plenty of time to grow and all the rest of the rubbish 
sorry, plants are out. Moving to the front. Again, I hope you can see these. It's a bit bright now. Those are uh, chicory. All these onions are from seed. My calla lilies. Have a look at the top. And then we've got celeriac. My first time doing these. Which are dwarf blotty. With our regular French characters over here. Oh no, that's blotty. French characters over there. Another bed of onions from seed. And just drag off some red onions there. Sweet corn's doing well. And pass the sweet corn turnip. And the pears. And we go into my outside cloche. We can see asparagus pea. You always have to tie them up and do two or three together. Shallots at the far end beginning to fall. And then we have our, excuse me while it wobbles, outdoor girl. Ever reliable as long as there's an absence. So if we just squeeze out past the Gala apple tree, if you're with me now, you follow where we are, we come back out and down we go into the back half. Again, I'll try and be scant on the details here and just show you if we can see that. No coal rubber yet. Turnips. Some of these are Asian veg. And if you ever know, want to know what Celtis lo looks like without using Google search function, that's what Celtis looks like. Oh no, I've missed some bolting plants. No. Rat's tail radish. Right, I'm squeezing out here. I hope you're getting the emerging view. Lots of beans over there. Lots of different varieties, including my 9, 10 foot, 12 foot alderman, or telegraph piece, sometimes known as. As I said, I'll give you further details in split videos, otherwise, I'm here for ages and it's exceptionally boring. Perhaps more so than now. Yep, not had snow, although you'd think it with the weather. It's some ash from the neighbour's barbecue. I'm not quite sure how he managed the barbecue this year, but he did. And we've got some chilies growing somewhere. Lots of varieties, including some flowers still. That's uh, hibiscus. And this, in spite, despite, I'll have to look this up, we are getting a red pepper. And more importantly, next year's plan, Trinidad Scorpion Butch, and there's a T in that soil. Go and look that up, puts hairs on your chest. I think we've got his cousin down here. Uh, tr ch chili Trinidad Morega Red. I think the camera might be fogging up in here, so we'll just escape. Past my gold rush courgette. I've re-put the plastic on my hoop bed, mainly because of the rain, more rain forecast, and in spite of it being in a raised bed, they are beginning to fall, these onions, and I really want them to not rot off from the bottom, as someone pointed out. And it will also serve, as you'll see, as a sneaky extension to my giant Atlantic pumpkins which were ordered 
from America. I think Joel Holland from Holland Seeds definitely recommend them and there's no issues with it coming overseas to UK by air post. Mr Calendula with a bed of spring onions which is already being raided heavily. You won't be able to see a great deal through these, through these brassica beds but largely this is collie that's coming on and uh, broccoli. As you can see, it's my Atlantic, one of my two plants in here. This is already probably over 20 odd feet long. Non set yet, but it's been too chilly. And then this one goes over the bridge of plenty. Well, you know what I mean. Into the next low tube. So I'd fix those in. This plastic was off until this morning, until I decided to ripen up the onions quicker. Another set of courgettes. The blueberries and a white currant there under its own special frame. This is new from last year and largely these are a mixture of uh, summer brassicas. Some more space for a baby Beth pear. And some soft fruit which is still quite young, although I think we've got a gooseberry summer down there. Again, that's a repeated bed of summer brassicas with a blueberry crop underneath that. I hope I'm not going too quick. And then we reach for back where I've sealed it now off from last year, so we're squared up. Oops, looking along the various uh, winter brassicas. Again, I've got names here, but we'll come to that after. And then we reach the back arch. And the back, which is slightly tidier from last year. I will go round to come on the outside hedge, past the soft fruit. Outside of a pumpkin. Past our Asian Chinese celery, there's Mr. the end of a pumpkin, our beetroot, and that's a yellow beetroot. It looks like a red one, but surprisingly it's yellow. Past a smaller Actindia. Which if you can see in here. That's a fruitlet. Uh, past these. That's inside. Coming to flower border, although it's still a little early in the season for mine and it's north facing behind my hazel hedge, so it takes some time for it to come into full bloom. It doesn't help with having monsoon like weather and then Arctic temperatures. Well, that's how it feels like. That's the main plot. And if we go back down to that junction with the two arches. That's the border. Outdoor girl. I'm not doing red onions from sets again. They rarely last in my experience, although next door has had some success. You 
just caught me processing some of my garlic. And still 15 million bulbs to go this afternoon. Moving past. Strange thing with the sunflowers this year, they've all seemed to have put out extra heads. Don't quite understand that. Goji berry, which is going to go this year. This bit's going to be tidied up. My son's raised bed, which has been emptied somewhat. A coal frame, which we'll talk about later. Most useful for getting ahead. My flower cold house, coal frame, which now turned into a little greenhouse at this time of year with the shells removed. where the garlic was been replanted up with Asian celery and another one of those monster Atlantic pumpkins some of these are my own seed and a second notice how I've been good and followed the instructions with lightly burying the vine that's my surplus onions from seed and the shallots are beginning to fall. These are 24 feet these beds are this year. This is looking enough to have Chinese cabbage, Chinese sorry Chinese broccoli, otherwise known as Gai Lan or Pat Gana. Very, very susceptible to club root bees. Good harvest this year because of the rain. The French shallots are settling. Unusual things like golden gourmet and red sunset over there. I don't think I'd have those without these raised beds. I am built on the back of a stream. The last bed, which is new from last year, is my surplus brassicas. I don't know if you can see very well in here. I'll try the other side. Yep. Well, I hope you can see there. We'll do some separate ones with the varieties. But for now, That's a brief overview of what the allotment looks like this year. I think it's time to say goodbye. See you soon.